rear. Look at this bridge. There's some big funky things on that bridge right there, right next to the at home it looks like furniture pirate store. Ship. Looks like pirate ships out there. We're uh, just leaving Nebraska pretty much, going into Iowa, right? Uh, yeah, we're uh, heading into Omaha, Nebraska. Des heading into Omaha right now. We're it's planning on stopping when we get to Des Moines. Downtown Expressway. So yeah, we're heading east to Des Moines. You see that sign right there? A little windmill action going on. Now don't try to get me down. I'm gonna deal with you. Windmill country. Uh, welcome to Des Moines, Iowa. We spent the night last night in Nebraska. Right? Yeah. Right in the truck stop. At a, we were at a rest stop in Nebraska. We just slept. I slept right where Calvin's sitting now. And, um, and I crawled back into Cal the pile. Yeah, right Calvin there. made a nest back there. Um, anyway, I started driving this morning. We've been on the road for a couple of hours. And we just made it to... Ooh, there's too much rain on the windshield. Um, there you go, you can kind of see it. You'll see it better when we get out of the car. The Brass Armadillo Antique Mall. This place is huge. It's right off the highway. And we're gonna go inside and check it out, see what they have to offer. Hey, there you can see, there's the interstate right there. The antiques, nine to nine, seven days, exit now. The Brass Armadillo Antique Mall. Massive red building here. Pretty cool. Got some Skylanders on this shelf. Bunch of dinosaurs. Hot Wheels. Ooh, some old Barbies. Harry Potter. Check out some Star Wars figures here. Some Episode One vintage figures. Pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff. Ooh, Lando, some glasses. We don't have those Star Wars glasses. Got a few more. Look, look got a big Qui-Gon Jinn on top there. What else is down here? It's Empire Strikes Back. I don't know how old these figures are. These look like the repop. The repops. Of course. Ooh, we got some old school Wolverine, X-Men. 2000s. There's a lot, a lot of cool stuff in this place. We've, this is just one row so far that we've been down, and there's so much stuff to look at. It's crazy. Signs galore here, and look at this. This is what Calvin pointed out. That would be pretty cool to have. Put that thing in your bedroom. It looks like something right out of me, I don't know what the... Very cool. But there's a lot of cool signs in here. You see a flamingo. Giant <laughs> flamingo. Calvin, come stand next to this. Look how tall this thing is. Taller than Calvin. That thing's huge. Okay. Or how about this rooster here? I like the rooster. Okay, I could be mistaken, but why does, why does this look so familiar? Is this like the same uh, alarm radio, clock radio that uh, our dad used to have? That's what I'm thinking. I, it looks like it. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if this yeah. was this old necessarily, but this looks oddly familiar to me. This place is so huge that it has a barn inside of it, a little shed. What's it like inside the little shed, Calvin? Oh, it's a little refreshment shed. See, this is how big this place is. Got the little refreshment shed here. And, oh, we got all kinds of armadillos. Look at that. This place is huge, too. Got a few different Pepsi and Coke items here. Check out this Pepsi radio. That's pretty cool. Like that. What do you got over here, Cameron? Uh, all these collectible candy bars? <laughs> Unopened? That's kind of funny.
for Gumby over here. This Gumby. Ooh, look at this, more Smurfs. I love, uh, I love these little Smurf figures. Some PN stuff as well. Pens. No, I think that's a... Adult collection. Is it? So, uh, oh yeah, yeah. It looks like a. Uh, I don't know if this is from the same line that I'm collecting right now, or if this is earlier. It might be the same one I'm collecting right now. Man at Arms, kind of cool. Okay, antique mall. A uh, lot of cool stuff, but overall, um, just sort of the same old. Um, this is definitely not the place. You're not going to find any good finds here. This is the place where everything's already been picked over and uh, there's a few few things here but nothing you're not gonna find any hot business but definitely cool stop good spot to hop out and stretch our legs on this road trip so anyway next up we gotta find some gas and probably a place uh, to get some food right now we are pumping gas outside of a Casey's general store now Dave Portnoy is famous for coming to, uh, a, I don't know, I don't know which Casey's it was, but he came to a Casey's general store and he got a breakfast pizza here and he wasn't too happy with the way it came out. Um, but I just sent Calvin inside to check out what they have. I told him if they have a pizza or something, if it's a breakfast pizza, if it's a lunch pizza, whatever kind of pizza it is, I told him go inside and get something while I'm pumping gas and uh, we'll see what it is. and. Maybe it'll be something uh, worth eating. Oh, and there he is right now. He's got some water and I don't know, he had something else in his hand, so. All right, what'd you That's get? a gallon of water. A gallon of water. And then they had pizza two for five. I got the two for five. All right, so this pizza was a dollar a slice, uh, is that what you said? 250. 250 a slice? 250 a slice. It looks like cartoon pizza. It's a little, let's take a look at the undercarriage. Casey's Corner Store. It doesn't look too crispy. Pepperoni pizza. It's kind of soft. It, I mean, it, it looks like somebody made it with their own hands. Straight out the gate, it's giving me Chuck E. Cheese vibe. The cheese is very similar to CNG at home. It's not bad. It's really not bad. For two fifty. For a gas station pizza, it's not bad. Casey's Corner Store. What would you rate it? Hmm. Well, we got the pepperoni. I'm going five five. Five, five. Definitely had a lot worse pizza. I, I I think you're right on the money in the five. Definitely, range. I'm also a little bit hungry too. Not gonna lie, mm. being on the road. Mm -hmm. But I'll I'll go five to five five. In between five and five five. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Would I get it again? Yeah, probably. So we are in uh, Wellcott, uh, what is this state? Iowa. Yeah, this is the world's largest truck stop. And there's a big giant arrow up here. Hold on, you can see it. Check it out. Been seeing signs for this place for miles, so. World's largest truck stop. Yeah, we're gonna head over and check it out. Largest truck stop. We are coming up to the infamous Iowa 80 here. We're gonna walk right in under this big sign. Kind of, kind of a cool place. Uh, I think we've seen a video or two here before. See what there is to see inside the world's largest truck stop. How large? 
large is it really? Oh my goodness. Okay, it definitely world's largest truck stop indeed. Wow. A Jeep right here. Pretty cool. And the restrooms are right up there right when you walk in. But this place is so massive. I don't even know where to begin. Get some cowboy hats. T-shirts. Whoa. <laughs> nice. A samurai sword. With the leopard. Uh, Ooh, that's cool with the right. leopard on top. Look, look around the corner here. Look at this truck. There's a whole truck inside the building here. And on the side of it is this farm mural. Look at that. That's an entire truck. Calvin, stand next to the logo there. See the logo on the floor? Make, make a good pose. More vibrant. Good. This is definitely the uh, car parts area. We don't need, really need anything in this area, but check it out, some different wood ornaments you can get. Oh, nice one. Let's uh, let's go over by the giant truck. Pretty much all the uh, auto supply stuff you could really need here. But yeah, look at this, this is really cool. Parked inside the building here. America the Beautiful. This nice mural on the truck. Pretty sweet. It is, it's pretty cool that this is parked right inside here come around the front of it here. Just take a look from the front. Right there, Calvin, pose right there. It's a good spot. Nice. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Old school coin press, but all of our coins are out in the car. I might have to go back out and grab some just yeah, so we can, can get a uh, Iowa 80 coin. But we're gonna start right here, we're right by the bathrooms, and this is the uh, food court section right here. This is like a big, big mall food court. Dairy Queen, Orange Julius, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Wendy's, and then also it looks like a regular gas station type area over there. But over here, we got more souvenirs, clearly. Something's caught Calm's eye over there. He saw something he wanted to go take a look at. But I wanted to come see this truck right here. Look at this. Wow. Get a load of that. Power wagon, pretty cool. Just got a little pamphlet for the truck museum, which maybe we'll have to make that a stop. Up above us right now, they got showers, theater, barber, dentist. They really got everything. If you're uh, on the road and need a place to stop, you can do it all here. Out of Dairy Queen, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Wendy's, we chose Wendy's for our Meal waiting on our. I think we both I ordered burgers, check this right? Check this out. Zoom in on the drink machines. Yep. So you got the Taco Bell side, which has Pepsi and Mountain Dew, then you got Coke and your other Coke products from the McDonald's so side. Guess what? We were able to snipe the Pepsi from the traditionally Coke restaurant, Wendy's. Yeah. They, they got both. <laughs> You already know it's Wendy's. Here's my argument for putting vegetables on burgers. Without vegetables, you're eating nothing. If the bread is soft, the meat is soft, your teeth go right through it. Mm. Uh -huh. All right, got a little son of the Baconator action right here. You know how it's gonna be. It's, uh, it's a lot bigger than Calvin's single patty. 
there. There's two patties there? Two patties. They look smaller than my uh, Baconator, I gotta say. I gotta say. They are, it is much smaller. Check out the, uh, the, uh... What's, what, what's yours? That's the double stack? The radius on the bun is clearly a lot smaller. smaller. But on the double stack, that's what yeah, you got? Yeah, the double stack, because it comes in the biggie bag with the uh, nuggets. Five dollar biggie and, bag. And Burger, French nuggets, fries. french fry. Whereas mine... Let's look at the price here. Let's look at the price of what we get real quick. Okay. Large combo, which obviously I didn't need to get the large. I could have got the regular size. Large combo is ten dollars and eighty cents. Whereas Calvin's biggie bag, which comes with the smaller drink, smaller fry, but you get the nuggets and the smaller burger, five dollars. So I don't think I got double the food for double the money. Do you? No, but the burger is definitely a tastier. It's burger. definitely a bigger burger, but it's, it's I'm just I'm just saying pri better, price wise, I think it's a tastier burger. I think well. price for what you get. It looks like yeah. you definitely got more bang I mean, for your in buck. A, in the fast food world. Like you could order two of the these for the same price as this right here. Yeah. And I think you'd get more food that way. No doubt. Eight nuggets. You can see that entire wall over there. That's sort of the regular gas station convenience area. Then obviously get more into the gift shop. And then this the food court area here. Going from the food court area down the staircase. There's a, a nicer restaurant here. You can come sit down and they also have a bar in there too. Restaurant and bar, but this whole place, uh, I gotta say, seems like a pretty nice place, especially like I said, if you come here and you're actually en route trucking somewhere, you gotta make a stop. Again, up above here, this is where they get the showers and everything. If you're coming here and you gotta get cleaned up, head upstairs, get yourself a shower. Iowa 80, world's largest truck stop. Let me, uh, let me Very break. cool let me stop. Break All right, let's if, hear it, Calvin. Let's hear the breakdown. If you were a trucker, if you drive trucks, that would be way cooler because they have they have like every that's right. accessory for your truck. You man. go. That's true. If you are looking for anything yeah. for your truck at all, and they you, have everything. They got every light, every piece of be trim. Way more of a novelty because also they have that whole the hotel section, restaurant, uh, you know, the showers and all. Um, if you if you travel this way, definitely, definitely come stop by. It was definitely worth the stop. Uh, the bathroom, Calvin. When he went in, he said it was gross. I went in right after it had been cleaned, and it was it was nice. I, I didn't have a problem with it. It wasn't, again, as nice as Bucky's, where they give you your own private toilet, but still, by the time, um, so nice I was, spot. I was sitting at our table, Caleb went to use the bathroom, he came back. By the time he came back, and then I went to the bathroom, every single stall was locked up already with people taking... Taking fat dumps. dumps. Yeah. Yeah, no, I definitely got lucky and got in there at a good time. Okay, this is the back side entrance here. And check out all the trucks lined up here. We also got another one backing in with the lineup. But definitely a lot of trucks here. That's where we just were at I 80 right there. And right next to it. Ta -da! We're right here at the truck museum, so we're gonna go in and check it out. We got a sign here; it's open today, so uh, we're gonna see what we can see inside. Got to sign the guest book on our way in here. Very cool. So it is free admission, and you can leave a donation here. But wow. Very cool, right off the bat. This uh, really, um, when you when you hear the term motor carriage, this really is really what comes to mind, huh? Yeah, motor carriage. Nineteen oh three. This is quite the view. Curtis? <laughs> Curtis? 
It, it is kind of funny. Don't you think Curtis would really appreciate this place of all people? Yeah. But <laughs> it's funny because I, um, I just saw a, like a new Curtis truck for the first time and I was like, whoa. Huh? <laughs> right here at the honcho. Pretty cool. Now, when you see this truck here, 1979 J10 honcho, it uh, really, you look at the new Jeep truck in comparison and you're like, hmm. Yeah, why, 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 why can't why can't they make this again? Yeah, why don't they call it the honcho at least? That looks really cool. Also right next to it here, look at this. We got the truck bed camper on there. Ford F-250. Here's your truck, Curtis. Nineteen fifty four. How do you say that? Ah, uh, I'm I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to say it wrong. <laughs> okay, we got big trucks on this side. Let's uh walk around from this side if it's sort of continue the way we were going. Wow. 1925 Douglas. Look this nice. Douglas with the big boom on it. That is a really tall boom, huh? Wow. Pretty cool. Look at this truck. Oh my goodness. It's so thin. So interesting. Ooh, check out that. Ooh, 1930 Ford snowmobile. Wow. That is something else, huh? Those tracks on there. There's so many cool vehicles in here. 1948. This is, I would assume this is a picture of this exact vehicle right here with those massive logs loaded onto it. You can see the trailer. Pretty cool. Could you imagine if you had one of these and this is what you just drove around for fun? On a Sunday afternoon, you hop in one of these bad boys. That'd be sweet. Imagine having one of those and actually using it for work. <laughs> I know, seriously. What a what a time it must have been, huh? Look at these. Truck and trailer right here. Pretty cool. These must have been part of the same fleet, obviously, at the same paint job. Pretty cool. World's largest truck stop, definitely worth stopping at. Then combined with the uh, truck museum right next to it here, definitely worth a stop. Got to pull off the highway and get over here and check it out. Got the massive American flag right here. Um, definitely the double tag team stop here. Definitely worth worthwhile. Right now we are on our way to Vito and Nick's, which is in Chicago, famously uh, reviewed by Barstool Sports. One by reviewed. So we're gonna go there and check it out for ourselves.
right behind that stop sign is the doorway to Vito's, Vito and Nick's. Vito and Nick's. Vito and Nick's, that's right here in front of us. Barstool and reviewed 8.2. 8.1 on one boy. <laughs> 8.1 on one boy. <laughs> on one bite? Uh, 8.1 on one bite reviews over here at Vito and Nick's. And it was also on diners, drive-ins, and dives. We just ordered ourselves a cheese pizza and it's gonna be out in a little bit and we're gonna eat it. There's Calvin right now, I miss him coming out of the restaurant. But he's carrying that pie for us. How'd it go? Great establishment. Great, uh, great place, class act. Really, really homey atmosphere in there. Uh, great pizza boxes, oh my goodness gracious. Look at this pizza box. That's an enigma right there. Durable box. <laughs> All right, there it is. All right, first we gotta pull it right out. All right, yeah, I mean, I mean, it looked really good. They had a lot of people working Show there. Show that up close, let's get it underneath. Let's get it on top. Underneath. underneath. It's pretty, you know. Initial thoughts? You into it? Initial thoughts, hold up. No. All right. The consistency is good, but I would not have rated this an eight one. Personally, really. So it's not an eight one. For, it's below an eight one. Is what you're saying? Uh, yeah. Flavor wise, it's really bland. It tastes like. It tastes almost like a. Uh, those homemade pizza kits we used to get. Like, I mean, it's good, but I like how they cut it in a little bit. Hmm. You're right. It is a little bit on the blander side. It's nothing striking. I mean, we got the cheese. Mm. It is good though. I I don't know. I'm gonna say it's good. I'm well, gonna say it's right on. You gotta remember this is right. a cheese pizza. All right. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Hold it. I think it's second. right on. Eight one. Hold on a second. I think what? I think here's the situation. I've been drinking a little bit of Red Bull. I've been eating sour patch. I mean Swedish fish. Now that I've had a second slice, the flavor setting in. I'm getting attuned. It's getting better. It's a more subtle flavor. Yeah, and it's also a cheese pizza. Personally, I don't know what I don't know how you could do a cheese pizza really any better. This could have been cooked a tiny bit more. It is ever so slightly underdone, but it's just about perfect. Uh, very very thin crust. It's cooked well for a thin crust like brick oven. They have a brick oven. So, well, I don't know if it's a brick, but you know what I'm talking about. You are onto something with the crust. The dough is not, it, it's extremely thin, but it is kind of like, it does have like, I don't know, the, the way he, he you put it, some sort of pizza, homemade pizza kit. Yeah. Not a little Caesar's I, homemade I, pizza maybe, kit. Maybe because they use flour. It's all, of, got a lot of flour in it. Instead of, uh, I mean, instead of corn cornmeal. No, there's still cornmeal in here, but yeah, there's something. There is something off about the crust. But overall, I would say, I would say, yeah, eight eight one. I mean, I don't know. No. No. For me. Uh, I would go six, seven. I don't know. Six, seven? Mm. We are leaving the city right now, getting out of Chicago. We're going to see how far we can make it. Um, we're driving out of here. We were talking about trying to go see um, the Bean um, in Chicago, but neither one of us really wants to drive. We don't want to keep driving around in the city. We just want to get out of here. We got our pizza that was on 
uh, Barstool Sports one by review, and that was pretty good. That was good enough for me for this trip. Calvin, how about you? What'd you think of the pizza? What'd you, what'd you think overall Chicago experience? How uh, was it? Overall Chicago experience, I wish we could have seen the city. But I mean, it's pretty gloomy out, so even if we it's starting to get it, dark. Yeah. I I have always wanted to see the Home Alone house, of course, and uh, you know the the bean. But, uh, but he's overall, he's, he's, he's kind making of a, it seem like I was the one that said we're not going to go see anything. No, I we, we not. neither one of us wanted to drive. Yeah, so what I was going to say we're is trying to get uh, out of here. Just missed the Indiana sign, but look at that, Indianapolis.